In this tutorial, we will go over how to create a trended revenue and month over month combo chart. Now to do this, we utilize FutureView Foundation and its Excel add-in to dynamically update the charts data from your ERP automatically. Essentially, the process is a one-time report setup with an ongoing ERP synchronization to update the metrics and charts with just a matter of clicks. Now you're looking at the finished product for each of our tutorials. This is the third of four video tutorials in this segment, and we'll build off of our revenue per customer tutorial. If you haven't watched that one yet, click the link in the card at the top right of this video. We'll also add a link to the previous video in the description below. Okay, so using the pivot table from our revenue per customer tutorial, we'll need our revenue to calculate the month over month growth. So we'll need to add that in column O. And let's title it month over month growth. Remember, growth is based on comparing two months. So it starts in the second month of the year. Begin your formula with equal sign. We want revenue from column L. So let's take L67 divided by L66 the previous month and then minus one to get our ratio. Now, we don't want this formatted as a decimal. We want it as a percent. So we'll click the percentage sign and go one decimal place over to show one tenth of a percent. Now we'll just drag this down to determine each month's growth. Fantastic. Now we have revenue and month over month growth. We have everything we need for our combo chart. So we'll start with month over month growth and go to insert, insert basic column graph. Okay. We've got month over month growth. Now we're going to add our additional data and series name revenue right here. Then change the horizontal axis label range to the dates. All right, let's move this up with our other charts now. We're going to change this chart type to a combo chart now, and we'll need to select the type of chart for both metrics. So we want our month over month revenue growth to be a line. And we want our revenue to be the bars. We also want month over month growth on a secondary axis. You'll notice our colors are backwards compared to the chart in the top right. So let's double click any bar and go to fill and switch these to blue. Then we'll click on the line and change the color to orange. Now that's much better. We like to keep things neat and it makes it a lot easier to analyze. Now our right vertical axis isn't quite correct. We don't want this in decimals. So we'll double click on this. We're going to go to numbers and change that to a percentage. And we're going to have no decimals visible on the axis line. Now that's what I'm talking about. To finish things off, we want to add an outline and increase the text font. We also need to add a title. So we'll call this revenue trends and month over month growth. Let's change the axis label to month over month growth. And the other will be revenue in US dollars. And there you have it. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. As you can see, it just takes a few minutes to set up these charts the first time. But the power of FutureView Foundation makes it dynamic and updates with the latest financial data. With Foundation and our Excel add-in, once you set up this report, you can click to refresh your ERP data and automatically update these charts without having to manually aggregate the data or create a pivot table again. If you're interested in learning more about FutureView Foundation, our Excel add-in, and other finance solutions, visit us at futureviewsystems.com.